Hello everyone, welcome to the AI practical series. In today's session, we will be doing the BFS algorithm that is the breadth first search algorithm. Now, uh, this uh, particular session will be divided into two parts. The first part will be explaining the algorithm and the second part is the code explanation and the execution of the code. If you already know the algorithm, then you can directly skip to the second part. Now what is breadth first? So I first explain what is this breadth first uh, algorithm is. Now BFS is of course a graph traversal algorithm which uh, actually explores the node breadth wise. So it starts from the root node and explores all the neighbors in the current depth before moving to the next depth. We'll see by this example. So BFS algorithm maintains a queue and this queue follows the first in first out principle. So ensuring that the nodes are visited in the order they are added to the queue. The, the one which is added first is explored first. Then uh, level order transversal. So it formals, uh, so naturally performs a level order transversal of the graph. It means it explores all nodes at the current depth before moving to the nodes at the next level depth. And also it also to, to avoid the revisiting of the nodes and provide uh, and prevent the infinite loops. Actually it uh, maintains a list of the visited nodes now this is the search tree we'll be using for our present case in the python code so a when this a is our root node okay when we explore this a we get b and c and when we explore b we get d and then e and when we explore c we get f so in the program this is shown how we write the python code for this so how the breadth first cell will work first is it will check for this a if a is not the goal it will go to the next level a will the a will be expanded we get b and we get c so b is checked for the goal if b is not the goal c is checked so we are in this particular level c is checked if c is not the goal then b is expanded we get d and we get e and then d is checked if d is not the goal e is checked if it is not the goal then c is expanded then we go for F. So in this case, uh, the nodes, they are actually uh, checked uh, level wise. So yet we have just two levels. If there had been two mo some more levels, it would go by that particular uh, way. Now this is the Python code. Okay. This is the Python code. We can uh, will execute this code. So uh, I will explain this code after this. So th this, this is the graph as you can see this part this is how we implement this particular we, we can actually if, if you want to change uh, we can just make the changes if we have suppose we have different tree then this part will only change rest all the things will remain same so this is a is connected with bc as we can see a is connected with b and c then uh, b is connected with a d and e so b is connected with a d and e and so on so this is the code will ex first execute the code I will ex execute the code in Google Colab you can do it in Python also no need to install any all the, all the things are there in built in Python so I'll just type Google Colab so as uh, and this is Google Colab we get this okay open Colab so now just uh, so we just click on code and we can uh, I have the code I will just copy paste the code here and uh, I will execute the code and then I will explain the code so I'll just copy paste the code so I'll just paste it here so this is the entire code now let us execute it now let us execute the code now this graph a b c it is according to what uh, I'd explain from the image so to uh, execute the code we just click here and we'll get the output so this is the output so this is how the graph will traverse it will first execute it will start with a then b then c then d then e then f uh, breadth wise so let us see the diagram then we'll understand so this is uh, this is in the this this is the order of the uh, execution of the nodes uh, okay traversing the nodes actually a b then c then because a if at the first level b and c is the next level and then c and so on let us see the graph then we'll understand so this is the graph so first a is traversed then b 
then C the same level then we have D E and finally F so if you want you can make some changes here we can add some more level here okay some more nodes can be added in this case some more nodes can be added here and then we can check the working of this so this is how we get the output now uh, we'll explain the code each line by line what we have used in this this line imports the deke class from the collections module a deke is a double-ended queue which is used here to implement the queue for bfs traversal the bfs function is defined taking two arguments graph, the graph you want to traverse, and start, the starting vertex for the BFS traversal. It initializes an empty visited set to keep track of visited vertices and a queue containing the start vertex to begin the traversal. The while loop continues as long as the queue is not empty. Inside the loop, the algorithm decues the leftmost vertex from the queue using popleft. If the vertex has not been visited yet, it is marked as visited by adding it to the visited set and printed out. The algorithm then explores the neighbors of the current vertex by iterating through the list of neighbors obtained from the graph. If a neighbor has not been visited, it is enqueued to the queue for further exploration. In this example usage section, a sample graph is defined using a dictionary where keys represent vertices and values represent their neighboring vertices. The start underscore vertex is set to a and the BFS function is called with the graph and starting vertex to perform the BFS traversal.